I'm Shishu from the BGC Hamilton Hotel early on. I hope everyone has been able to get outside and enjoy the lovely weather. And remember to pick up some rocks on your way for a walk. And because today I will show you how to do some rock painting. And for the rock painting, you will need some rocks and some permanent marker. And you need some brush and some of the paint. So for the paint, the acrylic paint works the best if you wish to leave your rocks outside in the garden. And if you only have some regular paint, don't worry. And if you can find some of the Mod Podge to cover your rock after you painted your rock. So this will keep the paint on your rock and not easy to wash off by the rain. And you, okay, let's get started. First, you need to cover your table so that you can protect your table, not get dirty. And then now I'm gonna start with paint my rock with a white color. The white color paint is the base that will make the other color show better on the rock because those rocks are darker color. If you want the other color show better, brighter, and you better cover with um, the white paint or black paint. You're gonna go over the rock. You don't have to paint the bottom because when you put down the bottom, you won't see it anyway. And once you paint this white, uh, white paint on it, and you can do a few of them. So leave them aside for drying. I already painted a few of my rock and they are already dry and ready to be painted. And today I'm gonna um, paint my rock um, related to garden, um, maybe some bugs or vegetables or fruit. And you can decide however you want to paint your rocks. And you can, you can paint your rocks with stripes, and dots, or any shapes. Here is uh, the one I painted before. I put some dots and some lines and some circles. And you can paint something like this or some different design that you created. I'm gonna start with my bumblebee. I'm gonna paint some yellow color. I'm gonna open it. And I'm gonna cover my rock with yellow color. Can you tell this white color base make the other color more brighter? So for the bumblebee, I will need yellow color and some black but i will cover this first and let it dry and then i will come back for the other design on the bumblebee body okay it's much covered i placed it on the side and now i'm gonna wash my brush And I will paint another one. I will make this one as a um, ladybug. So I need red color for this one. And I cover my with red color to make the wind. Of course, you can make any different uh, bugs that you want, or maybe some fruit, vegetables, anything that you wish to paint to.
cover I leave a little bit for um, the black color I don't have black paint, but I can use my black marker to draw on the uh, white part that I left. So even the permanent marker, you can leave them outside in the ring, they will not wash off. red paint to cover that and I will leave it on the side for drying up okay my rocks are all dried I also add some dots on my ladybug and I also add eyes and smile face on my ladybug and then I'm gonna draw my bumblebee so I paint a two white dot for my bumblebee's eyes. I'm gonna put a little black. Dot for the eyes. And I'm gonna draw some black straps for my um, bumblebee. I make a half circle one, another one. Okay, so now I'm gonna need a blue um, permanent marker to draw a wing. Draw a little smile face on oh, my bumblebee. Here's my bumblebee. And I'm going to put a little bit darker color to add on the ladybug. My permanent marker was run out of ink. And now I change to a fresh one. Okay, here is my bug rocks for my garden and here I made I also made a strawberry and here's my colorful one and if you remember if you use the um, regular paint and you need to use the mud part to cover it so it will be a uh, um, stay longer in the rain okay i hope you have your own design enjoy